Hello, I'm JJ and welcome to my latest video on the Lenovo P2. This particular video is going to demonstrate how to get the Google Assistant working on your P2. It can actually work on other Android devices as well if they're running Android 6.0 and above. I have it working very well on my Sony Xperia Z5 Compact. To make things nice and simple, I have factory restored my Lenovo P2 and the most important stage at this point is to ensure that you select English United States as the language option. I'll now skip forward while I enter my password for my home Wi-Fi and sign in to my Google account. So if I hold the home button in now, it offers me the opportunity of setting up Google Now, but it's the standard option of Google Now, not the Google Assistant. The next stage is to go into settings and choose Google. And then once that launches, hit the three dots at the top right hand corner for the menu and select help and feedback. You then choose the three dots again at the top right hand corner and select view in Google Play Store. That will launch the Google Play Services app in the Google Play Store. As you can see here, I've already registered as a beta tester. If you haven't done so already, it'll give you the option to sign up for it and after about 10 to 30 minutes, it'll give you confirmation that you've done that. You then go back to the App Store, choose Google and do exactly the same thing. You sign up for the beta testing program if you haven't done already and if you have, as you can see here, I'm just updating both. Okay, if you're still with me, the next stage is to go into Settings, choose Apps and All Apps and then by scrolling down to the Google app, you select storage, you then select manage space and clear all data. You go back a stage, scroll a little bit further down to Google Play services. Again, you follow the same procedure here and clear all data. So the next time you open up the Google app, it will start from scratch again and start initializing the feed. So you have to accept the feed as you did before. Now when you open up the settings, it will give you the option to change the Google Assistant settings. And that will configure Google Assistant and it's now ready to work. You could take the opportunity here as I'm going to do now to scroll down a little bit further and you can set up the OK Google detection just by saying OK Google three times. OK Google. OK Google. OK Google. That simply means you can then wake up the Google Assistant from any screen by using your OK Google phrase. For those of you watching that haven't used the Google Assistant before or haven't seen any videos of it being demonstrated, there's an introduction where if you ask what can you do, it will give you some ideas of some of the things it can help you with. I'll now give a brief demonstration on the Google Assistant in action. OK Google, what is the weather like in Chennai? Currently in Chennai it's 29 degrees Celsius and clear. Tonight, it's predicted to be 27 and clear. How many people live there? Its population was 7,088,000 as of 2011. How far from Chennai to Mumbai? Chennai is 1,336 kilometers away from Mumbai by car. How much rainfall does Mumbai get each year? It's not raining in Mumbai. The air is smoky. What is the average rainfall per year in Mumbai? According to Wikipedia, the mean average is 27.2 degrees Celsius and average precipitation is 242.2 centimeters. What day is Christmas in 2020? The 25th of December 2020 falls on a Friday. Give me a beat. Sure, I know a guy. Hold on, I'll get him. Turn on silent mode. Increase volume to maximum. 
Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and leave me any positive comments if it's been at all useful or enjoyable. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that I'm fairly new to all of this. So I'm hoping to improve and I really welcome any positive comments that you can leave. Thanks again until the next time.